I just thought kind of interesting. I found a cigar with a patch on it. It's been the same band uh, since it changed to American Viking Cigar. It's very... That's what it looks like. So I think it's very Asian at the same time. So it actually looks pretty good. You know, and plus it's shiny. So can't complain. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Today, I continue to move the microphone closer to me. So we'll see if that sounds any different because it seems like every time I move forward a little bit, sound changes. So today, uh, it's gotta be the new Filthy Viking Robusto. Now, when I say new, it doesn't mean new. It just came out. It's newer version because there used to be another version made by Rocky Patel. And that version was beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Keep, I, I smoke that a lot. I, I enjoy that a lot. But, but as time goes, things change and now is made by a premium um, cigar producer, which is Placencia, under the brand American Viking, Ten Swanson. And, you know, obviously he's the owner of uh, Cigars Daily, good friend of ours. Literally, Shadow Smokes Legion probably would not exist uh, without him. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I have this thing about the new Filthy Viking not tasting like the old Filthy Viking. Uh, I don't know the blend change or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure the one before was very creamy, coffee, nutty, and stuff like that. And and I feel like I've smoked one of these before in the life and did not taste like it. And then the the Lancero version came out, and I smoked the Lancero, and I thought that was very close. When I talked to him, he says, no, actually, the Robusto and Toro is closer. So I bought a Robusto to see if that is close, right? That's the only way to find out, is to get one and smoke one. So, here we go. This time, this particular one, 5x50 Robusto, the wrapper... It's Habano, but I don't think it's Honduran Habano. So let's see if they say anything about the Habano. Uh, the binder and filler is Honduran. Okay, let's see what is the, the wrapper leaf. I feel like there's information somewhere. Nope, did not tell me where the where the wrapper is from. Uh, maybe somebody else talked about this. Nope. All right. So I don't know where the the rapper leaves the phone. Just say Habano. Could be anything. Could be Ecuadorian. Could be regular Habano. Could be whatever. But it is what it is. So. Oh my God. I don't know. It smells like butt. <laughs> and that's not intentionally saying that his cigar smells like butt, but it smells like butt. So what am I going to say? It smells like butt. It kind of does. Cut the cap. Dust it off. Dries fine. Cedar. Dry, dry, cedar. Cedar, uh, maybe a little bit of pepper. Oh, that is rare. 
Rarely you do find these kind of stuff. Is that you find a cigar that after they finished it, they probably most likely patched it up. I found one right here. You see the dark part? You see the dark spot? That's a patch. You guys see that? It's a patch. I just thought kind of interesting. I found a cigar with a patch on it. All right. Tastes like cedar and egg yolk. <laughs> what? Like a salty egg yolk. Little bit creamy. Like I said, it's like salty egg yolk creaminess. Little bit pepper, cedar. Slight bitterness. A little bit grassiness, almost hay. And that's it. So, let me smoke for one third and I will be right back after I enjoy this little cigar. Here we go, one third. You know, gotta be very honest with you guys. I love the original one. It's very creamy, coffee-y, you know. This one is not bad, but it's towards the more citrusy side. It's got woodsy. It's got a little bit of pepper, just a little bit. And it's got this um, musty or you call it sour, you want to call it citrusy. Uh, it's just like more sour tone, right? More citrus tone. Uh, more, less of coffee tone. Less of creamy tone. It's very sharp. So it's not what I wanted. Even though it's good, it's not what I wanted. I want that creaminess. I want that it, it really goes well with coffee. This thing, um, it's good, but like it wouldn't go well with my latte, you know? It wouldn't. It, it goes well, maybe dark roast coffee, maybe, but not my creamy hot latte. So, even though everything else is good, burns well, ash holds well, ash color is good, um, structure is good. The part that was patched, not even a little issue. Not even a little issue. Oh, shoot. Not even a little issue. Why do I put it like that? Like I'm like as if I expect you to be able to see that. No, this way. Not even a little issue. So first there, a lot of flavor. Like I say, it was towards a sharp end, like very sharp, picky acidic taste. Um obviously it's got some quality of the old filthy viking but i think that you know with the filler and binder being honduran honduras uh tobacco shouldn't that be kind of sweet it's not very sweet it's sweet but not very sweet not the typical that you would think you get out of a honduras binder and filler it's sweet not very sweet and the sweetness kind of only is very Prominent on the retro hill, but that once you that once you get that sweetness, pepper goes through and just kills it. So that's the issue I have right now. But I'm going into the second third. Let me smoke through the second third. See when that pepper goes off, kind of wears off off that shift. Nine to five. Time for next shift. See if that creaminess. See if that sweetness comes up. We still got room. Still got room to be right. Be right back. Second, third. Uh, let me refresh my mind just one second. All right. Still kind of the first third. It's very sharp, but it added a little bit of toasted nut to it. And that's pretty much it. 
is more full. That flavor is slightly more full now. But we still got that sourness to it. And the pepper didn't die down that much. It didn't die down that much. So it's still very, very pungent, very, very tasty cigar. It's just that it's sour and peppery at the same time. Not that I hate those flavors. I love those flavors. You know, Asian people have sweet and sour soup. But it's still not what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? I love that filthy Viking. I'm, I'm like, right now, I'm not even talking about whether or not the cigar is good or bad. All right? Because it is good. But what this review is really about is whether or not this filthy Viking is as good as the old one. And I honestly, I can tell you that it might be a little bit better quality, but the flavor is not what I want. I want that creaminess. I want that flavor. It's not here. You know, this is this is my problem is that I love that cigar, but I can't find that anymore. And the replacement wasn't. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem I have here. So it's like, Tim, maybe you should find that recipe again and get that blend again and put it together as another cigar. I'm okay with that. I will buy it. You know? But, yeah. It is what it is. I think I showed this Filthy Viking cigar a few times uh, in life before um, because it's been the same band uh, since it changed to American Viking cigar. It's very cool. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, it's got a little bit of you know, filthy Viking, but that those thing on the back, very Asian, very Asian. You know, like the breeding and stuff like that. You know, uh, if you go out and buy some like Asian lucky breads and stuff like that, they breed like that. So, bread, 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 breeding, bread, bread, uh, the knitting thing. All right, they. I Albert put a picture right here, please. I'll find one for you, but. That's what it looks like. So I think it's very Asian at the same time. So it actually looks pretty good. You know, and plus it's shiny. So can't complain about that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised because like when you do like filthy Vikings, you didn't have like axe and like, you know, uh, horns and everything. But it's not on this. <laughs> so so it, although it looks good, it's kind of like, which direction is that trying to go, you know? But yeah, that's the band. In terms of the price, I can't remember exactly how much it is. Uh, I think it's between eight dollars and nine dollars, depends where you buy it. Uh, it's one of those things where, like you know, because Cigars Daily owns Filthy Viking, so Cigars Daily sells Filthy Viking for slightly more expensive, whereas everywhere else like, sells it for slightly cheaper. I think that's what it is. But it, you know, all the cigars depends where you get it. So between eight to nine dollars, not expensive, not expensive at all. And I think they they often go on sale. In fact, today when I look at my email, it's on sale <laughs> with the, with the, with a sale code. So you know. You can probably get it very cheap. I can't remember how much uh, discount that was. 15 or 30 percent. I can't remember. But anyways, it's there. So. Now, last third. I'm not looking. I'm, I I don't have much hope that it's got to turn into that flavor. But, you know, it's not bad. I got so I smoke it. <laughs> Be right back. All right. So pretty much done. Um, it didn't get to the creaminess that I want. Not saying that it's a bad cigar. It just didn't... It wasn't what I wanted. I'm pretty sure it fits a lot of people. It maybe even took some suggestion from the blender because they did change the blend. And from one company to another, that does change a lot of things. But for me, you know, it's not what I'm looking for. That's the problem, right? So I, you know, I wouldn't say this is a bad cigar. It's just not the same cigar, which kind of expected, right? Um, the last third did give me a little bit of like an extra nutmeg taste. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, it, it is a relaxing cigar. It's not very expensive. It's, it's a good cigar, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a creamy, creamy, creamy Connecticut. This is a Habano, right? The original was a, was a Connecticut. So this is Habano. Obviously, it's got to be different. So unfortunately, um, it wasn't what I'm looking for. But, nevertheless, still a good cigar. You know, if you're looking for a Habano cigar, that's a good cigar. If you're looking for a Connecticut that's creamy, nutty, go good, perfect with coffee, um, 
you know, sui, cedary. It's not this. But if you're looking for a cigar that's Habano, that's, you know, within $8 to $9, that is quite enjoyable, that is a cigar. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's the case. Like, you know, this is one of those reviews like where my goal to the result was different than usual. Because usually, I try to find out whether the cigar is good, it's worth the money. Now, the cigar is good, it's worth the money, but it's not what I want. <laughs> so that's the problem, right? Anyways, that's it for the cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, and uh, share, comment. Uh, if you had the old Filthy, cigar, uh, filthy Vacuum before, let me know what you think about this new one. Um, it's been new for a long, long time, but do you still, you still feel like that's a good replacement? Do you feel like there's something else that's closer, that's better replacement? Let me know. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.